yeah, I've been fishing my whole life. Um, it was one of those things that my dad taught us at a very, very early age. I think I learned how to fish before I could even write, learn how to hunt and fish before I could even write. And um, it was just one of those things that me and my dad and my brother all had in common. And it's, a, it's, it's, it's what we do still to this day. I actually been fly fishing for about three years now. And, um, you know, being in Colorado for so many years, you know, Colorado is known for some for, for some amazing streams and, and rivers and stuff. And, you know, the fly fishing is great here in Colorado. And, you know, I, I got with the guys, Scott Dickinson and, and his company, and they take us out on, on private streams and, and, and private land to fish these streams. And they got some, some monster trout in there, and it's a fun time whenever we go. Good work, good work. <laughs> That's number three, too. Oh. It's, a, it's a great, fun time. I love fly fishing. Some of the most beautiful places in Colorado that we visited. And I just get to go out without my buddies. I get to go out with all my buddies, and it gets super, super competitive because all the fish are right here, and they're for the taking. And it's just me. I make everything a competition. And, you know, this time that we, this last time that we went fishing was with Malik, and we always have a very, very competitive um, fishing experience whenever we go. He's been fishing his whole entire life. I've been fishing my whole entire life. We've been fly fishing about the same amount of time and it's always fun. Nice guys. Come on, folks. No, you're three. You're cheating. I told you you're cheating. It's 3-1. It's 3-1. I'm pulling up the rear though. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. <laughs> Damn, man. <laughs> hey, man, what's going on? I got hung, man. What's going on? <laughs> I believe. You on my spot? Hey, come get it, man. I I'll let you get it. Well, we starting out kind of slow. It's 5-1. I was on like a 15-minute intermission. They was trying to untangle my ride while Von, while Von, <laughs> while Von still get the fish, I'm over here trying to get my rod untangled. But um, it's all good, man. It's just the, the first quarter, really. It's just the first quarter. We, we gonna bounce back. <laughs> I've been out of commission for 30 minutes. <laughs> I know you didn't want me to get him in there. I know you didn't want me to get him in there. <laughs> That's a big fish. Uh, oh, shoot. See, that is about 20, I'll call them 21 inches. Yeah, fly fishing is totally different. You know, uh, these uh, trout, they lay in a little, uh, like a little slipstream behind the rock or something, and they wait for all the flies and bugs and insects that are coming in. It's really just like a big conveyor belt. They just sit there and if it looks natural, they are gonna eat it. They don't really like to do a whole lot of moving or, or swimming. They just like to stand still in, in one spot, or swim still in one spot and wait for the bugs to come in. So if you can if you can put the fly out in front of them enough times to make it look natural, you know, it's the chances of them biting it are high. They might not eat it, but you know, they'll at least nibble on it and they'll bite it. And um, that's when you gotta strike because it could be just a split second. It could be a very, very light strike, a very, very light indication that's a fish on. You gotta be able to take advantage of it. If the water is going to the left, that means the fish is swimming to the right. So that means you have to set your hook with the stream, with the water. You know, sometimes you might wanna go against, and if you do that, you'll pull the, the hook right out of the mouth. You wanna go with the fish and make sure you get a nice tug and get get the hook, you know, right in their lip. So. You got six? I'm at seven. I would have had another one after that, but I don't have no hook on here. That's just been biting the fly. Seven. Yeah, that was after the seven to one. <laughs> I got photo evidence on all my feet. <laughs> How many you got? Two?
Three. <laughs> hey, I got a long way to make up, man. We coming. Hey, the day ain't over with. We just gonna tell them gonna be like I'm at five right now. <laughs> I'll take a little break. Take a little break. Get a little lunch. Come back. The numbers with the numbers. Still the same? Yeah, Malik. How many you got left? Feel slow. Malik Green. <laughs> you spit it out too. Uh, he did. Sucker. Not the species we're going for, but we call them the exotic species. I feel like whenever you fish, you you can't really control what bites your hook, you know? So if you catch a sucker fish, which you know a sucker fish is not a trophy fish, it's not a game fish. You know, and some people don't like to count it. But me, I like to count anything that you are able to hook and bring in. Like you should count it. And and if not, we gotta we gotta really establish these rules before we even go fishing. If we don't establish these rules before we go fishing, then it's whatever fish that you catch counts. Well, don't think, man, it's so many of them. I just gotta get them on the hook. The suckers are kind of part of the carp family. I mean, they're kind of a. So they don't count, huh? They don't count. <laughs> They don't count? No. So is that like the total? Yeah. yeah. See, if he caught two of them, that means you still, what, at seven? Fun. You no. still at seven? Caught a sucker fish, and I think that it should count. We said at the beginning, old. all fish. We said biggest fish. We didn't, we didn't specify, we said we didn't specify at the beginning. It's old. <laughs> it's old. <laughs> biggest fish already know. Biggest fish already know. Biggest fish already know. Biggest fish already know. We getting ready to go in about 15 minutes too. <laughs> about 15. <laughs> you know, any fish that you catch should count. Unless, you know, you catch a lot of circle. If you catch five circle fish, they don't count like it's ridiculous. Like we gotta establish these rules right now and get them straight for our future, you know, excursions. That's not. <laughs> What's the same one? <laughs> yeah, that. Let's do this real quick. Put one right there. Got it? Man, I'm at 10. Where am I, Malik? I've been fishing my whole life, man. This is my game. This is what I do. I fish and I hunt. You know, and I get, I talk a lot of shit whenever I do it because I, I know I'm good at it. I know how to. I know how to bring them in, so I talk a lot, a lot of shit when it comes to, to fishing, and I, I get under people's skin, and they don't like it. But if you know if they don't like it, they gotta come get the trophy, cause I'm Mr. Fishes. You know what I'm saying? Another day out here, <sighs> Mr. Fishes. You know how we do, man. All I do is catch them. I'm gonna get a trophy. You all set. I'm gonna get a trophy in the winter. We gotta keep the trophy until next time we fish. There's a moment where PJ and Malik got tangled up on the same line. I think Malik hooked the fish initially, but PJ somehow got his fly tangled up with the same fish. Hey, hey why, he's got, why you think his pole in the water? Hey, hey my, what's up? And, um, you know, they, they try to call it like a, you know, a half fish, it, it just doesn't count. It's, it's not like a half sack or anything like that. Like, you gotta catch your own fish straight up for it to count. I had to call one. No, you didn't. <laughs> You gotta stick your hook in mine. Dog, look, it's, it's connected, bro. That's mine. I told P that to move. <laughs> the fish is crossed this up. Yeah, Mr. Fishes, man. Now, we out here with Malik and PJ Lock, man. The rain caught it today. Um, we out here um, a couple of miles away from Lake George fishing on Robert Street, man. And it's getting windy and rainy, but I'm still Mr. Fishes. We out. You know, when you got a guy putting you on, you know, the fishes, it's, it become easy. And I had to find my own, you know, honey hole. Man, he, he hopped off with like five fish out the back. So it's hard to, you know, recover. You know, I came back in the fourth quarter, but he talking about he want to go now, so. Yeah, he was out. Man. He got somebody. Look, he's still trying to fish over there. Talking about he, I thought he said you ready to go. 
Yeah, what happened? Yeah. Why are you still in the water? It's raining. <laughs> hey, I'm but it was fun that. though. It's my second time. I, I definitely caught more fish this time than I did the first time. Mm -hmm. I may have caught like three or four, but I caught seven yeah, this time. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm proud of that. Progress. Yeah, man. You know, all I do is catch fish. That's all I do is catch them, bring them, bring them in. If they bite my hook, I'm bringing them in. They love to bite my hook because I'm Mr. Fishes. And I'm gonna get a trophy or something. I'm just saying I'm gonna get a trophy. You know, that way every time we go fishing, the guy who catches the most fish and the biggest fish gets the trophy. I'm gonna have two trophies. One for the biggest fish, one for the most fish. And you gotta unify both trophies to be called Mr. Fishes. So, you know, the last couple of times that we went out, I caught the biggest fish and the most fish. So. I'm the unified champ when it comes to fishing. Whenever we go again, I bring the trophies right back out and we do it all over again and I bring the trophies right back home because I'm Mr. Fishes.